My ambition is to make this the best tech channel on YouTube and to achieve that I need your help. Today's video will be on screen in just a few seconds but before we delve into it please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also please watch the video until the very end. The crazy thing is the longer you watch the more people YouTube will share it with. You're helping loads of other people see this content just by simply watching all of the video. You my friend are an absolute hero. Now let's begin. If you're anything like us, you have our sympathy. Agonizing over what graphics card to buy can be absolute torture. But what do you need to know exactly before you spend all that hard-earned cash? Graphics cards are arguably the most important part of any build. So, where do you start? Well, we like to think of a PC of being a little bit like the Avengers. Hawkeye, the heart of the team. Clearly the motherboard, anchoring all the components together. Tony Stark, Iron Man, is the brains and obviously a central processing unit, or abbreviated as CPU. Doctor Strange, throwing random spells. There's your random access memory, or RAM for short. Vision has got to be that good-looking RGB lighting in your system. Thor generates electricity as the power supply. All those connector cables spread out like Spider-Man's web. Captain America organizes how the team is run, just like an operating system. But the Hulk, he's the tough guy, the muscle, the real power that packs a punch. This is your graphics card. It does the heavy lifting, the main workload, and is built for one purpose only, raw, unbridled power. Deciding on a graphics card is not that easy. There are just too many factors at play. How much money do you have saved up? Can you afford the performance that you want? Are you rendering video? And could the money saved on the GPU be better spent on a CPU with more physical cores? Do you want to build for gaming, where a better GPU is a good choice, as only one or two cores of the CPU will be used? Value also comes into the decision-making process. Is buying a much more expensive GPU worth that 10 to 15% increase in performance? Because of this, we're going to attack things a bit differently in this video. We're going to give you guys a list, but instead of a top 5, it will be a best in class. A bit of something for everyone, from kids to adults to those with a budget in mind, all the way up to the big boys, where the price is just not an issue. Best bang for buck GPU. If you're building an entry level PC and want something a bit better than onboard built in motherboard graphics, then look no further than the AMD Radeon RX 570. It is superb value at £130 or $150 and is able to run most modern games on high settings at around 60 frames per second. This is the card for those of us who are one step past Spider Solitaire, but one step before online gaming. The happy medium so to speak. Best budget GPU, the little engine that could, the Nvidia GTX 1660 Super, a brilliant card, one capable of slaying most games at 80 frames per second on ultra settings at 1080p. It is the grunt of the Nvidia range and awesome value for the price. If you don't mind the lack of ray tracing and are as happy as a pig in the proverbial not venturing into the land of 1440p or 4k gaming, this is the card you should be buying. You'll be looking to spend around £240 or $280 on this baby, so it won't break the bank, freeing up some funds to go towards faster clocked RAM or a higher quality CPU. An honourable mention goes out to the AMD Radeon RX 5500. Although somewhat weaker performance-wise when compared to our Nvidia value card, what it lacks in punch, it makes up for in price. Around £200 or $200. You won't find a better GPU at this price, though the frame rate on the AAA rated games will be around 60 frames per second on high settings. Best mid-range GPU. The Nvidia RTX 2070 Super is the undisputed top dog of the mid-range gaming rig. It brings better performance to the table than its predecessor, the RTX 2070, with a lower price point. It's a win-win scenario for everyday PC users. This car boasts high-end performance in a small package, taking full advantage of Nvidia's Turing architecture to deliver fantastic-looking games with ray tracing. The VRAM remains the same, with 8GB of GDDR6, but there are 250 odd more CUDA cores, and the clock has been bumped up to 17 70 megahertz. There's a reason why this is the variant you see in most mid-priced pre-built rigs, able to render 
1440p resolutions at 70 frames per second on ultra settings with ray tracing and all the other bells and whistles enabled. Coming in at around £580 or $550, it's a very affordable upgrade, not too shabby. Another honourable mention goes out to AMD with their Radeon RX 5700 XT putting up quite a good fight in this weight class. Less than 15% performance is lost for a cheaper price of £400 or $450, with this card edging out the Nvidia rival if we use a performance per dollar comparison. AMD Navi technology has come a long way in the past few years, however the lack of ray tracing and extremely hot operating temperatures prevented this card from getting top honours. In short, better than a 2060 Super at the same price, but nowhere near as good as a 2070 Super. Best high-end GPU. The Nvidia RTX 2080 Super is a no-brainer when it comes to choosing a high-end graphics card capable of handling everything a AAA game can throw at it. Just like its little brother, the 2080 Super replaced the 2080 predecessor with more CUDA cores, higher boost clock, and wider memory bandwidth. This has culminated in a 10% performance increase at the same price, which, now we mention it, is starting to creep up pretty high at the £850 or $830 mark. It's nowhere near the value champion. We are in the realm of smaller increment performance increases with substantially larger price increases. But if you want horsepower, you have to be prepared to pay for it. This is the card you need for 1440p gaming at Ultra for 110 frames frames per second. The frame rate drops down to around 60 frames per second in 4K, which is understandable given how much bigger the resolution is. That being said, it is still very respectable. But when compared to the Big Daddy itself, it is dwarfed. Stay tuned till the end when we unveil the king of all GPUs. Best Workstation GPU the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 8000 is a strange looking beast. A big chunky card that on paper is the most powerful of all cards in NVIDIA's stable. It may surprise you, however, that this card is designed to be operated in pairs, triplets and even quadruplets in powerful workstations. That's right, this is no gaming GPU. In fact, it's horrible for gaming. Its main purpose is to drive the mind-bogglingly large number of calculations required to render CAD designs, computer-generated special effects, and other digital content creation functions, as well as scientific and machine learning. At over £6,000 a pop is most definitely out of your price range. Next, the rise of AMD. After being so prominent in the PC world, AMD fell from grace for a while. It's quite refreshing to see that the quality has improved in recent years, and combined with their successful Ryzen CPUs, AMD has seen a double in share prices in the last year. Get your head around that for a second. Taking market share away from Intel and Nvidia, wow. Ultimately, the big winner here is the consumer. Competition breeds innovation. Expect to see some amazing GPUs come out from both manufacturers in the next few years, with more competitive pricing from Nvidia to compete with the value cards AMD have to offer. Watch this space. Why you should wait a couple of months. It's true, the fact that there is always something new and shiny coming down the road makes it super hard to choose the right time to build a new PC. There's such a do I don't I hesitance that sometimes you just have to nut up and do it. In saying that, maybe, maybe you should wait a few months. But why? After we just told you to go ahead and do it. Simple, really. September is the likely time that Nvidia released their new architecture of GPU. Make way, Turing, for Ampere is on its way. The new 30 series cards are rumoured to pack a much bigger punch than the 20 series, in vastly improved performance not seen since the 10 series cards replaced the 9 series. Does it sound confusing? Just trust us on this. At the very least, the price drop on current 20 series cards as they go on clearance sale is reason enough to curb your enthusiasm for another few months and pick up a hot deal. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Best Extreme GPU, the Big Daddy. There can only be one crowned king, one monarch to rule over all inferior GPUs, at the top of the heap, the very pinnacle of performance in gaming. We are talking about the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition. They haven't made games yet that make full use of this monster of a card. It is the largest consumer GPU that NVIDIA have ever made. Take this spec sheet as gospel. This 
this is the absolute best there is right now at this very moment 18.6 billion transistors a boost clock of 1635 megahertz with 4352 cuda cores 11 gigabytes of gddr6 vram with a huge 14 gigabytes a second memory clock the ability to power a max resolution of 8k people buy this card against their better financial judgment. You have to silence a lot of little voices in your head telling you no when you hit the go button to get one of these. It will set you back almost 1,700 pounds or $1,330. You had better have a 4K monitor to fully utilize the power this card contains. Game in 4K, ultra settings, ray tracing firing at a blisteringly quick refresh rate of 80 frames per second. If 1440p is your thing, expect to max out the refresh rate of the monitor. Humbling power. And if the rumors are anything to go by, the next gen iteration of this card will be a fire breathing dragon. And that just about wraps things up for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments what your dream build is. Are you looking to build a PC soon? Which GPU catches your eye? Tell us. Remember to give us some love. Hit like, click that subscribe button and share this video if you want more content like this. This has been Ultimate 5 Picks. See you next time. Yeah.